And you know, the crazy part about life is sometimes when we say we're gonna do certain things, it's almost like we be waiting for this special moment to happen. We be waiting for something to happen that'll motivate us so that we do what we say we were gonna do. And I believe that's one of the worst mentalities to have because you gotta think about it. If you're waiting for that special moment that happened, right? You'll never reach that goal. You will never reach that goal because what if that moment don't happen? Or what if it be something that you probably can't handle? You know, it might be something bad that happened or something like that. For example, if the doctor been telling you to work out, but you don't take heed to their advice and then time goes past and you continue to wait and wait and wait until eventually something forces you to have to take heed to that advice. You don't wanna wait for that. You wanna go ahead and do it. Sometimes we just gotta get up and push ourselves to do something that we don't wanna do. But if you let time pass you by, you're gonna be forced to look back on that time and say, Dad, what if I would have been doing what I supposed to that entire time? I would have been that much closer to reaching my goal, to becoming successful in a dream that you may have had. That's how I'm starting to look at life. I ain't gonna stunt. Man, I promise you, every time I get up and walk to the gym and get that exercise in, I feel better about myself. Because after I finish my workout, I realize now, dad, I just accomplished something that I said I was gonna do. And I'm not gonna lie, because my car broke down, that really influenced, influenced me in a good way because it made me realize, okay, I know for a fact the father telling me to do this. <laughs> and shoot, it's been a blessing in a, in a way when you think about it. Because at least I'm getting in shape. But it also taught me to stop waiting for that special moment to happen stop waiting for a particular time because i could have already been doing what i was supposed to be doing and i could have been working a lot harder you know what i'm saying in a, in a lot of stuff in my life so now i'm basically playing catch up you know but it's all good though because the heavenly father placed breath in my body and i could do that now so that's a blessing. You gotta always have a positive outlook on life. Even when it's something negative, you gotta find some type of positive in it. You gotta see the situation, learn from the situation, and apply what you learn to your life. You got to, because at the end of the day, things just happen in life. We gotta learn how to adjust with the times though. We gotta learn how to do that. And we gotta push ourselves harder than ever. We got to motivate each other for real. So that's all I'm up here for is to hopefully motivate someone, encourage someone that might be struggling in life right now. Listen, write your goals down and research how to accomplish these goals. Because I promise you, it's going to make a major difference in your life. That's what I'm starting to do. And that's what I'm going to continue to push myself to do. And you're going to feel better in the long run. But I don't know, y'all. I might start back walking and talking, man. That's how I started my YouTube channel off, actually. Just walking and talking, y'all. And we just used to have a great conversation, man. I don't know. I might start vlogging a little bit. 
I'm not sure though. I gotta, I always, whatever I try to do y'all, I always try to keep God first. I feel like when you keep God first in everything that you do, it's just gonna make everything clear. You know what I'm saying? It, it gives your life more clarity on how to move, how the heavenly father wants you to do things. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always keep God first. Everything I do, I try to glorify the heavenly father because I, I just don't like trying to do things on my own mindset and intellect. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's been so many times when I try to do that and I just put myself in a dark place and I'd be like, dad, where I go wrong at? And that's when I start to realize it's because when you walk towards a worldly direction, it's leading you away from the light. But when you keep God first, that's guiding you to the light. You get what I'm saying? So when, when you're being led by the Holy Spirit of God and that's keeping them first, the reason why it brings more clarity to your life is because that's just like when you're in a dark room and you turn on the light switch, you're able to see what's in the room. See, the Heavenly Father, he will show you how to do it. He said in the end times, he would give people visions and dreams. You know what I'm saying? So you got to allow the heavenly father to show you what he called you to do. And that's how I got to this point in my life. I just kept the heavenly father first and he showed me how to do it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I'm tired as a mother. Cause I go in, I, I walk, I ain't gonna stunt, man. It might be probably about three miles to the gym. And then, and then, I gotta walk back. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It might be longer than that. It might be about four miles to the gym. I might need to track that. That might be something I need to track. But I'm tired as a mud, y'all. <laughs> I walk to the gym, I got it in. And I'm gonna keep on working out, man. I won't even gonna go to the gym today. That's my honest word I want. But I said, shoot, man, I might as well do something. Dang, I'm always daggone talking about what I'm going to do. And then a month passed. Next thing you know, two months passed, three months passed, four months passed. I'll be like, dad, go on, man. When I'm going to do it? <laughs> when I'm going to get my tail up, my lazy tail up, and do what I got to do? You feel me, man? Shoot, when you at work, you make yourself go to work. So, shoot, why not dad go on, make myself do something productive, man? Like, like getting in shape, you know, you know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> Shoot. But I just wanted to get up here to have a conversation with y'all, man. I love y'all. I pray you have a blessed day. In Jesus' name, amen.